so as the principle goes like the old ones you know for any other skate wheels uh i'll show you one wheel right now which we can do in the traditional hand way okay so you just place one of the bearings here press it with your hand it goes inside then take one of the spacers put that inside and place another bearing over there plus the bearing okay so this is assembled right now so use a, a refill when you are uh, trying to put this wheel back into the uh, axle okay so the spacer might get in the way okay this is one way of putting it since we are on a table and we are looking at the hangers and the trucks and everything you know i thought like i will show you the another way of assembling the bearings to the wheels okay so we will see that method for another wheel and i'll go ahead and put that for rest of the wheels okay i'm going to leave only one wherein i can show you that method and uh, i'm going to put the rest of the two with the traditional method which i do okay peace out so guys i just rearranged the table for uh, to give room for the deck to be placed and uh, to assemble the front truck probably you get some good view of the front truck the base plate the top view you know probably you saw the kingpin enough in this video to understand the angle and everything okay so kingpin is tight enough it's strong and it's placed fine okay first thing we're going to assemble is the pivot cup we already lubricated the pivot cup with some soap scrapings and you don't have to lubricate the inside walls of the uh pivot cup that is there in the uh base plate i my i'm calling this pivot cup actually you could call it as pivot bushings okay so this is some something like that you know it covers the entire part of the bush i mean the pivot of the hanger so i'm placing the pivot bushing or the soft rubber for the pivot cup inside the pivot cup hole that is there in the base plate then goes the washer i have decided to use this washer here and to put the barrel bushings there actually i'm considering why not use the cup washer instead you know we have got that here so we'll use the cup washer we'll use the cup washer for the barrel here okay and uh, let me grab another cup washer that i can use it along with this so this is my small kit bag where and i store everything else that i buy you know so here is another set or another pair so why not we use them okay sorry for uh, moving away from the frame as i told you initially i am uh doing it along with you so this is the very first time and very first experience for me to uh disassemble the cover truck and assemble it back again so we have the uh this thing in place uh the barrel bushing in place with the cup washer here so i'm going to go ahead and put the hanger the cover cx truck imitation hanger inside oh my god this is a little complicated i might have to try various methods i guess how do i place it and also bring that in oh my god this is kind of complicated for me i'm trying it along with you guys mm -hmm. experts who are watching this if you have another method method for this to assemble please let me know in the comment section okay for now i'm going to go off the video for a second figure out how to put this properly and come back okay so guys i'm back again it took a couple of minutes for me to figure this out i may not be able to use this cup washer you know for the barrel bushings i might have to use the plain washer for the barrel bushings in the bottom side it's just because like there is a 
groove here just for the uh, just to accommodate the washer here so might have to put this uh, bushing plane here and put that barrel bushing there hope you guys can see it from the side I might have to lift this a little bit over and put the hanger in over the kingpin and lower everything down you get the idea you get the idea you get the idea i have to so i have to lift the barrel bushing and the cup washer and saw it from the side now side before so let me do it on the top view for you guys so i have the barrel bushing and the plain washer here so i take them put that over the kingpin and keep it in the raised position and i'm going to take the hanger keep it in the same position as the barrel bushing keep it in i'm sorry my hands covered the view so i have the barrel bushings over the kingpin now i take the hanger put in the same position as the barrel bushing and the plain washer and just drop the hanger there so now hanger goes inside the pivot cup with no issues so i may not be able to use that uh, uh, cup washer on the barrel bushings but i can use it for the cone bushings so i'm going to use it for the cone bushings here so i'm dropping the cup washer first we are not using my custom cup washers here so you can see that there is the new cup washer then goes the new piezo skateboards cone bushings then goes the cup washer for the top mount of the cone bushing and goes the washer where you use it before the uh kingpin nut which is going to be tightened there so before tightening the kingpin nut i'm going to take a minute to apply this cycle tube solution to the you see that gooey gooey stuff red color gooey stuff you know apply that to the inner walls of the kingpin nut you know it might hold the nut in place for some time because the uh, nylon that you would find inside the kingpin walls the threads of inner threads of kingpin nut walls you know has worn out over time because i have uh, removed the front kingpin uh, for a couple of times uh, before if you see my videos you know wherein i would try to remove that for uh, you know fixing all the uh, bushings and the custom cup washers and everything so i might i was uh, removing that several times before because of which the nylon on the inner thread walls kind of damage uh, give me a second i'm going to go and grab my skate tool i might have misplaced in this process it didn't take much long see so you use the kingpin nut side give it a fair amount of tight i normally do uh, tight it till i even it out with the kingpin nut and the kingpin kingpins uh, top surface okay you see that so that's when you will know that it's in the right place for me being a big size rider i'm going to give one extra turn than after evening <coughs> I'm sorry I kind of dropped this great tool so me being a big size rider after evening the I mean even evening out the kingpin nut and the kingpin itself I'm going to use my skate tool and give one more extra turn to tighten the trucks a little bit more because I'm a big size rider remember so this is free and this is good so for now uh, by the feel of it as a touch 
I think I might have to tighten them a little more for a couple more turns to achieve the tightness of the core that I wanted okay yeah this looks fine but I still feel like the the barrel bushings are moving so I might want to place a little more tight to my CX truck probably that setup had a taller uh, cone bushing that's why uh, I had to use a little number of turns for the kingpin nut so this is how you adjust it you will see in the bottom side if the barrel bushings or the plane washer that is there is moving when you are moving the truck onto the left and right that's how you carve right so if you are doing this and if you find the barrel bushings moving you might want to tighten your kingpin nut so that is what I'm doing. I'm spreading like a pig already. So this might require one or two tons extra. Extra one or two tons. So that looks fine to me. Yeah, that's fine. That looks fine. Maybe it'll give one more turn. Or I'll check on the bushings. No, the bushings is already squeezed. Too much I feel. I loosen with one or two turns. To ease now the bushing. Yeah, bushings are fine now. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Hmm. Okay. Good. We have done with the front hanger right now for now. Now let's move on to the wheels, okay? I'll go and come back. Peace. So as I'm back. So remember, I told you how to put the bearings after assembling the truck since we have the trucks and axles and everything, you know. So that method is like, first you put your uh, speed washers in the respective places. One goes at the either end of the axle. Okay, there is the one that is going on to the end of the axle. And then, what you do is, you put your bearing and then you take your spacer, put the spacer here and then you take your wheel, remember the, uh, the painted uh, surface goes on the outside, so I'm going to put this here in and press it at the end of the axle press it to the end of the axle now if you remove your spacer is inside already in correct position standing position and you have your bearings inside your wheel okay now just put another bearing like this bearing like this this time you can have the spacers in place and need not worry about it. I just showed you like the spacers has to be standing when you are uh, pressing all your bearings inside. So this is one way of putting the bearings and the spacers inside your wheel. Okay. So that's how you do it. We already put one speed washers on either side of the axle. Now let's go ahead mount the wheel properly so as I said you bef said before the spacer is moving inside so which is causing the uh, axle from properly getting through the next side of the wheel so I'm gonna go off the camera for a second to grab my uh, refill so I'm gonna position this in a place and uh, slide my wheel inside like that so then there is one more speed washer which has to go on other side of the wheel hope you can see it on this way see the speed washer sorry I went a little off the camera okay and then you take the axle nut 
and tighten them up okay you saw this earlier on my skateboard assembly video as well you remember i believe so now go ahead and use the axle nut side of your skate tool and tighten them so you don't want to overdo it you don't want to over tight the axle nut just keep the right amount of tight okay and try to spin your wheel if it is freely spinning then the amount of tight is good if it is stopping after some time probably you might want to loosen a little bit so i think it's spinning much more freely than before so i think this is the right amount of tight for particular side of this wheel okay now that you have seen how to do it i'm going to go ahead and finish this side and come back to you okay peace out so guys we are done assembling the wheels on the front uh, truck which is the cx truck imitation of oxalo car 540 board long board okay we are done with the assembly of that and we are going to move to the rear truck okay we are going to do the same type of assembly here people might ask me or wonder why i was uh, not using the uh, cup washers like this acquired from the websites of proper skateboard uh, spare part seller like piezo skateboards or any other brand you know because uh, the cup washers were really expensive which i saw it in as amazon and decathlon was not selling them and i could not source any other websites or any other places where they would sell this kind of cup washers for the barrel bushings or for the cone bushings you know and whatever that was found on amazon was really expensive so i was not able to use them at that point of time okay so here we go we are going to assemble this rear truck okay so let sorry i went a little uh, away from the camera just to grab the rear hangers and the pivot cup just as before inside the pivot cup just going to place the pivot cup bushings pivot cups particularly and put them inside properly i'm going to place the hanger here now grab the barrel bushings that's the one which goes first so in goes the cup washer for the barrel bushings first then goes the barrel bushings itself and goes the hanger okay oh no Remember I told you when I was trying to mount this base plate to my uh, skateboard uh, for the waterbone setup the pivots pivot cups always face to the side of the end okay so if it is on the tail end the pivot cup faces the tail if it is the nose you know the pivot cup the pivot cup here I'm sorry I dropped it again so the pivot cup has to face the nose okay so just just second let me grab the drop pivot cup so first the pivot cup then goes the barrel bushings then goes the hanger i think this one will this one will be easier for me to mount it so yeah this was easy it's not the cx kind uh, you know angled hanger this one is pretty much simple and straight like anything else so then goes the bushings this one bushing you know you don't need the cup washer for it it has a proper seat you know indentation there so i'm going to put the what do we call the cup washer for the top side of the cone bushing and then i might have to find the axle nut I mean the kingpin nut. Sorry, that's the kingpin which we are going to tighten right now, and put a little bit of solution that you use for the cycle puncher. This is really gooey actually, but it's water soluble. If you want to put some water, it will sort dissolve in, in the current state. Okay, so I've tried that because I try to. use it at a use it as a paste to seal my 
shoe it did not work that much well not completely water soluble it kind of dissolves a little bit deteriorates a little bit so again i might want to surface it or even it to the kingpin nut okay this cone bushings are little taller so i might want to be careful about tightening so you might may or may not need extra turns i find uh, the cone bushing cup washer is uh, kind of rotating along with the axle nut I just tighten them up i check the hanger it's good the barrel bushings are not moving that much but still i want to give one more turn that's good it's not compressing my bushing too much it's good that's what i believe so let's see my hand was sweaty the uh, lock nut solution kind of dissolved you know which i just wiped it with my finger so i think to worry you might want to wash it again with proper hand wash so this is done so you know what is left out the wheels you put these speed washers on each either side or either end and then in goes your wheel and might want to keep the spacers in proper position as i press the uh, press the wheel inside then goes another speed washer and your axle nut i'm going to for now hand tight the axle nuts just to finish the assembly for you guys in goes the wheels sorry i took the speed washer by mistake so in goes another wheel so in goes another wheel then goes the speed washer oops and i'm going to hand tight this for now okay so the wheel is assembled then tighten the axle nut properly give it a right amount of tight don't want to over tight it that is good and now for this is uh, now for this side this was my very first experience of uh, you know doing this that looks fine let me check if i'm over tightening it tightening it no it required that one small turn so that side of the wheel is also fine now i'm going to keep aside the skate tool the extras that is there in this table i'm back now so rear truck is completely assembled the wheels are functioning properly the uh, carving ability or the movement of the hanger is fine on the rear truck it's locked properly it's not touching the kingpin so is the front truck so is the front cs truck you have the wheels i now feel that one to be sorry if and i went a little away from the camera so i now i feel that one to be little tighter so it's loosen now probably i will loosen this a little bit not too much yeah this looks fine now so guys we completely disassembled the oxaloco 540 board long board and we cleaned that up properly and we assembled them back so hope you guys had some useful times uh, i should say i also had the same useful time with you guys because this is my first time disassembling the cover and assembling it back you know the new bushing new cup washer learning to put up 
a CX struck properly into the kingpin, you know. And this is my signature, which I probably might have done it when I was assembling, assembling the skateboard setup for what waterborne surf adapter, you know. So this is done and ready. So I'm good. I'm happy about it. So this is the small check just to see like if the board is on a complete level, you know, like you don't want to mess up like wobbling or anything. So I find this to be fine. This is moving freely. So I'm happy about it. I'll see you in a see you guys in a minute. So guys, <laughs> this is how I look after uh, doing all that process. I'm going to fix my hair. Hope it's okay. So what now? I'm happy. So like, uh, let us uh, take this out for a spin to just make sure like everything is functioning properly and. Uh, yeah, that's it. And we will end by end our video by then. Okay. There's nothing more to bore you guys. Let's take this out for a spin. Peace. So guys, so last part of the puzzle, you know, it's the piece of skateboard sticker. I'm going to stick it on the tail. So there you go. I like the uh, glass kind of uh, transparent sticker here. I like that. You know, it goes with the uh, clear grip tape, you know, the idea, you know. So rather than being opaque, I like this one. So that is the last part, part of the puzzle. <laughs> the Pandora carved skateboard. You know, from the axolo. So this is the collaboration of three bands here: Piso Skateboards Bushing, Cup Washers, and uh, Decathlon Axolos, Axolo Cow 540 Board Longboard Cowa. <laughs> Peace. Hello everyone. Uh, I wasn't able to test it yesterday afternoon because kids were playing here, and it became dark in the evening after that. So I thought I would test it now, okay, the newly assembled and cleaned and maintained uh, Oxalo Car 540 board long board, okay. It is good, the truck is a little bit tight, I might have to loosen it up, everything is good, works fine, peace out.